This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 25th of November. I'm James Spann. Get ready for a cold, soaking rain, maybe a few snowflakes early Wednesday morning in the pre-dawn hours, and a nasty East Coast storm on the busiest travel day of the year. A lot to talk about, so let's do it. Let's start with some of the sky cam shots. We'll take a look out the window. First off, coming from Cheehaw State Park. Uh, the sky there is cloudy. Don't believe they've had any action so far today, but up in northwest Alabama at Haleyville, they've had a bit of rain, a bit of sleet, as expected. And that's the Gadsden Sky Cam. Again, a touch of sleet in Etowah County as well. Also, some light rain falling at times there. Of course, everything changed over to all rain tonight as the uh, uh, air becomes more saturated. Temperatures are in the 40s at mid afternoon. We've got uh, 43 for Birmingham, and we're going to stay in the 40s all night tonight, all day tomorrow. These numbers will not change much over the next 24 hours with rain falling. And again, around the nation, uh, the Arctic air is modified a little bit, but there's more cold air lurking just north of the Canadian border, and a chunk of that will drop south. We'll feel that on Wednesday. In fact, it uh, uh, looks like we will not get out of the 30s in here on Wednesday with a pretty strong northwest wind. Here's the uh, radar that was at 235, and uh, where you see the uh, yellows, the brighter returns over northwest Alabama, there's probably some sleet involved in that. But again, uh, all of that will transition to rain, and you bet your buddy it's going to be a soaker. Uh, the darker red, that's two inches. The brighter red, that's three inches across north central Alabama. This is suggesting maybe some three inch totals around Anniston and Gadsden, uh, Fort Payne and Center. Uh, and again, for most places, we'll say two to three inches. And uh, not enough to cause any flooding uh, because we've been pretty dry lately. The ground can handle that. And look at here. This is the chance of one inch of snow or more uh, beginning at noon tomorrow until noon Wednesday local time. And, of course, you see a lot of colors over Alabama. That, that's not, you know, snow amounts. That's the chance of us going over one inch of snow. And those green shades uh, are, you know, 10 to 20 percent. Uh, if you really want snow, you want to... You know, go up to, to the mountains, uh, the Great Smoky Mountains, East Kentucky, West Virginia, and really up into western Pennsylvania, western and northern New York. Uh, that's where the big snows are going to be. And for the immediate eastern seaboard, uh, the big cities there, it's going to be a big rain event uh, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, as you'll see. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at uh, 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see uh, broad troughing coming at us from the west. I say broad. That's a sharp trough coming over southeastern Texas. That's kind of what's left of the upper low. And down below that, there is a surface low that should be somewhere around uh, Panama City. And it's just going to be wet. I mean, it will be a soaker tonight and tomorrow. I didn't have the graphic to show you, but I should mention that there could be a few severe storms over north Florida, uh, east and southeast of that surface low. Cities like Tallahassee, um, maybe uh, Tampa Bay, uh, Jacksonville. Uh, in the warm sector, they could see some severe storms down there. But again here, cold, soaking rain. It's an easy forecast. Now, this is midnight tomorrow night, local time, off the high-res NAM. Uh, the really big rains have lifted out. And as the whole thing winds down, you can see evidence of maybe a little snow. On the back side of that, uh, especially up into eastern Tennessee, uh, down into northeast Alabama. And more than likely, this happens while you sleep uh, early Wednesday morning. Uh, the main window for light snow, it's going to be probably about 11 p.m. until 5 a.m. This is 3 a.m. Wednesday, and still some chance of snow uh, around Heflin and, and Weiss Lake and Wadawi, uh, maybe Anniston. Uh, and then by 6 o'clock, it's gone, everything out of here. So uh, the NAM is suggesting uh, maybe some light snow from about uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow night until 5 a.m. Wednesday. There could be could be maybe just a little light dusting uh, in some of the grassy areas, especially over northeast Alabama. Uh, and in terms of driving, note the blue line there. That's the, the freeze line. So at daybreak Wednesday, we should be below freezing north of that blue line. That's most of North Alabama. And remember, we're coming off a two to three inch rain here. So my greater concern in terms of traveling, it's the standing water and maybe a few slick spots on bridges. So for travel Wednesday morning, while the whole mess is kind of out of here, and I don't think the snow is going to be enough to cause any problems, just remember any standing water could maybe, you know, generate a few icy spots. Just be aware of that. 
Uh, let's take a look at the uh, GFS. It's a tad slower. This is uh, 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. It's still showing some snow over a pretty good chunk of the state, light snow. Uh, but I think the NAM is probably correct. It's been much better with the timing of this thing so far. And clearly, going up the eastern seaboard, that's a mess. Uh, uh, let's look at noon on Wednesday. And again, this uh, is the busiest travel day of the year. Mercy me, that's a 990 millibar load that's north of Boston. Uh, you got heavy snow falling. The mountains of West Virginia, western Pennsylvania, western New York. Wind and rain for Washington and Baltimore and New York City. Uh, so, again, the, the, the prospects of being major air travel delays are very, very high. It's going to be nasty if you're trying to fly up through there. And, of course, when all those airports get fouled up, it fouls up air travel from much of the rest of the country. So uh, just be aware of that problem. But uh, for us, Wednesday, the sky should clear. Windy, cold, we will not get out of the 30s. Uh, this is the snow depth here coming off the NAM. And again, uh, this is valid at uh, 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, and it prints just a little bit, a little smidgen, maybe a trace in a few spots of dusting, but uh, nothing more than that. All right, <laughs> let's go to our Thanksgiving. Uh, dry with a cold morning. We start the day down around 20. The latest GFS is printing 21. Uh, many spots are going to be in the teens. I mean, it's going to be cold on Thanksgiving morning. Uh, the high will be in the middle 40s, but the sky bright and sunny. I doubt if you find a cloud in the sky. This is Friday, Black Friday. We start the day in the 20s. A pretty decent chance we'll see low 50s for the first time in a while. Uh, that's still way below average, but at least we're moving in the right direction. And this is Iron Bowl Saturday. Great day for that football game at Auburn's Jordan-Hare Stadium. Uh, the sky should be mostly sunny. Temperatures there should be in the mid-50s at kickoff, based on the latest data and the thickness values that uh, we're seeing here. Let's go to Sunday, still dry. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. Monday of next week, week from uh, today, energy approaching from the west, and by golly, we go wet if this is right. So after a dry Thanksgiving period, uh, Thursday through Sunday, uh, looks like rain comes back early next week on Monday. Uh, let's go out there a little deeper into December. This is December the 7th. That looks kind of wet with a cold front passing through, more cold air coming down the pike. And the end of the forecast on December the 11th, strong westerlies around the nation, a little system departing off to the east. That would be cool with rain ending if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.